Hey guys, I'm Sebastian and this is Don. We are locally world famous chiropractors in Orange County. Locally world famous. I feel like you never really ever want to say it's not, that. I forget, but then you do a little like look at me and she, I'm like, oh yeah. She made the jingle up and she refused to sing. I don't refuse, I forget. She, so we're going we're gonna to cover um, the absolute worst stretch to do for hip impingement today. Hip impingement is the stuff on the front side of the hip, right around here in the crease. A lot of people might deem as hip flexor pain. Um, or hip impingement or labrums and so on. And so, um, as always, when we go through this, it's, um, we say absolute worst, but we say it depends. So it's all circumstantial, but we're gonna tell you the reason why we might not like this in this case and ways to modify it. If you guys are wondering, what the heck is hip impingement? Like, I don't understand, like, we have other videos on this too. Go to our little red dot somewhere in the corner. I wanna to touch it in the corner and subscribe to the channel. There's a little search bar there that just put hip impingement in there and you'll probably see something like hip impingement explained. And um, that's where we full, go more in detail about what it is, but we'll, we'll give you an idea what it is first uh, and then we'll show you the stretch and ways to modify. Cool. Do you want to show what hip impingement yeah, is with, do that. with Bob Norman? Bob Norman here. All right, so hip impingement here. If we zoom in on Bob Norman, he has this is your hip socket here. So you have your pelvis bone and you his, have your femur bone here. I'll hold his hand. Perfect. <laughs> and what hip impingement is, is the socket where the femur and the pelvis connect. When you go into flexion, he's not flexing today. No, oh, here we yeah, go. He's it's a bad day for him. <laughs> What's going on here? What is he? Let me just, just show he's you. He's disjointed. When we go into <laughs> flexion with it. <laughs> Here, flexion like so. Sometimes Here. you run out of space. There we got it. In that, so oh yeah, but he's not going into flexion. There he is. There we go. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, what happens is you run out of space in that socket there, and you get a sort of pinchy feeling um, between the cartilage there, your acetabulum, and that is what causes that hip impingement syndrome when you go sitting, when you go squatting, things of that sort. You get that like pinchy sort of achy feeling in the front of the hip there. That is. Explain God. very simply. I feel like I'm exhausted just watching you fight with Bob Norman's <laughs> like, hip. He won't flex today. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to show you uh, the stretch here and I'll tell you the reasons why. So go on your back for us and show us the stretch that everybody seems to do. Yes, yes. Yeah, how does that hurt? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Where does it hurt? It it's probably it really does hurt you, right? Yeah, pinchy right here. Okay, so do it again. I bet if you do it enough, it'll feel better, right? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not, though. And so, here's the here's the challenging thing to, about this is because Don mentioned that bringing your you said bringing your hip up uh -huh. creates the impingement. So what are you doing? Bringing the hip up. So she's creating more impingement. It's almost like imagine my hand being here, and she's just my hand say my hand being part of the uh, part of the hip joint in the front or the labrum, and she's just crushing my hand by bringing it up. So she's physically crushing it between part of the bone on the pelvis and part of the bone on the femur. And so what we can do instead is give her an, a, a chance to clear that pinchy space and then go ahead and pull up again. Does that feel better? Mm -hmm. And come further too. And she comes further too. So she can explore flexion range in there by bringing it more to the armpit versus bringing it to her neck. Because there are positive tests, which I'll, let me grab this other leg, drop it, okay? So uh, we've done this in other videos too, so there's the positive, the test that we use to get, do with hip is called um, Scour's test, which is here, and then we kind of rub the rim of the acetabulum, and if there's hip impingement, that'll usually piss it off. And so we don't encourage you to do it more. Um, also there's this one, which is for Deer's test, which is you bring it up and then you twist it in. And you're going to notice the commonality is when the knee is going across her midline, it'll piss it off. And so the modification being here. And you actually, when we bring your hip up, it naturally, your foot just kind of drifts in. Mm -hmm. And so that's, you're getting way more hip range that way. And so we can challenge it there. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. So yeah. you're saying if I feel like stretching, just bring it outward and hold. Well, maybe go straight. Not with your head. Straight. <laughs> straight and then drift. And then that's just find the socket, find the path, and then rep that out. Okay. Don't be committed to really jamming the joint up. Now this stretch might be good in some circumstances. We've given this to people where you're actually jamming it up there. 
but also the way they feel is, 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 a, is different. It's not like their symptoms are becoming a big fire. And so if it generally makes you worse, after you're done with the stretch, it's not the right stretch for you. Mm -hmm. Okay? So all stretches aren't good. Yep. What do you want to add? Well, try this at home. See if it works for you, number one. If it does, then we have a free gift for you. The free gift will probably pop up on the screen somewhere. If it doesn't, it'll be in the descriptions below. <laughs> Um, but take advantage of that free gift. A lot of people ask us, okay, well, I watched your video and it helped for me, but what do I do next? This is what you do next. You follow that free gift. Um, also, we are open at this time. If you guys would like to come and see us in office, you are more than welcome to. We are located in Orange County, California. Come and see us. We'll help you through your healing journey. If not, we have virtual options uh, available as well. So if you guys want to know more about that, just give us a call or reach out to us. Um, email us at info at p2sportscare.com. Either way, we would love to help you, um, but we can't help you unless you reach out. See you guys later. <laughs>